All right, so this is Jack Godfrey, and this is, um, <laughs> well, I've been away on uh, vacation with my wife for a couple of weeks, so yeah, what are we doing today? This is Beginner Qigong, our Saturday morning class, live on Facebook, live on Zoom, and also being recorded, so later you can see it on uh, YouTube as well. So we have a bunch of classes on, uh, on YouTube for the early summer, which is the season we're in now, and also any previous season. So if you're looking for an opportunity to do some uh, beginner, you want to take a, an hour to do a class with me, well, go over to um, YouTube channel and look for uh, Southdale Wellness is the, uh, the YouTube channel there. And you'll see a bunch of classes, full classes, there's also educational videos that focus on one or two particular movements as well. So anyway, so that's a bit of a commercial about that. So we are in the early summer season. And that runs you know, from eh, somewhere beginning of June, middle of May, around about there, and goes for about 10 weeks. And so the seasons are divided into five in, in Qigong. So early summer is when the blossoming starts. Late summer is when the fruiting begins. The fall is when the harvest happens. The winter is when you store up all the har stuff that you harvested. So you have food and supplies through the winter. In the spring is when the sprouting starts up and that's when the cycle starts all over again. So we get the sprouting, the green stuff showing up, and new plants starting to grow. And then we're back into early summer with our blossoming happening once more. And so that's the five stages of the uh, life cycle of nature, if you wish. So the color associated with this season is red. And I'm trying to, to uh, work with that theme. And generally, I have t-shirts that match the predominant color for a particular season. So the red is looking at it being, you know, it's the early summer and it tends to be hot. And so the red is reflecting on that. We have the heart and the small intestine are the two meridians that we're focusing on. Generally, each of the uh, five seasons has two meridians, a yin meridian and a yang meridian. So the yin meridian is the heart and the yang meridian is the small intestine. However, with uh, the early summer, we have two extra meridians because there's 12 and we have five seasons. So the pericardium and the triple burner, triple warmer, are uh, the San Zhao. There's many names for that uh, particular meridian. And so they're associated with this season as well. But I've rambled on enough here. We're going to get back there and... Uh, have, have a go at doing some uh, Qigong practice to sort of loosen the body up, warm it up, get the Qi flowing, and generally have a nice, healthy body. So here we go. So one of the things to be aware of with, with our practice is that you breathe in through the nose, and you breathe out through the nose. And you want to do a nice, deep, full breath. So you're going to fill the lungs and fill the abdomen. And we focus with that with our three-part breath. And so and but we breathe in through the nose. We breathe out through the nose. We breathe in for a count of four. And we breathe out for a count of four. And we're looking to expand the lungs as much as possible. So to help with this, I bring my hands up to the abdomen. So three-part breath. We fill the abdomen as much as possible. And then we breathe in some more, filling up the top of the lungs. And then up to the collarbones. And then exhale. <coughs> and it's pretty normal when you do this, like you're filling the lungs and then you have a short, sharp breath to fill. You're filling the abdomen. A short, sharp breath to expand the lungs a little bit more. And then finally, another short, sharp breath to fill up the, the very top of the lungs. And what this does, these two short, sharp breaths, cause the lungs to expand a little bit more and open up any of the collapsed air sacs, and, it, and thus increasing our lung capacity. But what happens is when you manage to open these air sacs up, 
you have a bit of a cough that happens because there's some vibration going on with that sudden expansion of lung capacity. So let's do five of these breaths. So inhale. <coughs> inhale. Inhaling. Yeah, we'll do two more like this. Last one. Now there's a couple of reasons why we start with the, the breathing as one of the first things that we do in our Qigong practice. It helps to bring energy into the body. Also, it focuses on our breath, which is a very important part of our practice. So we want to be breathing deep and we want to be breathing you know, in time so that four, you know, count for four as we breathe in, count for four as we breathe out. And we want to fill the lungs. So the other part, when we breathe in really deep like this, is we're expanding the abdomen, but it's not pop out in front. You want to think of it as a balloon, so it goes out here, out here, out the back, and then up and down as well, where we're filling this big beach ball here. And then we do the same thing here with the lungs, so we're looking to expand those ribs as well. So we get the breathing sorted out because all of our practice is driven by the breath. So next we have our standing posture, which is embracing the heart. So we, we work with getting our foundation set up here. So the feet more or less parallel, coming straight down out of the hips. A double hand width between the feet. And you can look down and go, yeah, that looks to be about right if you haven't been friends with your feet for quite a while. So you put weight on the toes. This is a small triangle. You drift back onto the heels. This is the large triangle. So small triangle, big toe, little toe, and the ball joint. Large triangle, big toe, little toe, and the heel. So when you put, have the weight forward on the toes, this is a small triangle. When you drift back into the heels, this is the large triangle. And so we use this as a way to help build and improve our balance by building awareness of where's the weight in our feet. So we drift forward onto the toes, we drift back onto the heels. Now let's come to the center here. So we have equal weight on the toes and on the heels. Bend the knees just a little bit. Push the toes down into the earth. Push the heels down into the earth. Pull the hoi in, the pelvic floor, up. Bring the tailbone into the body. Pull the belly button in. Lift the ribs. Lift the chin. Look towards the horizon. Make sure we don't have the shoulders up here. So you want to drop the shoulders down the back. Bring the hands up so they're about the same height as your elbows and take them out to the side and bring the elbows towards each other behind the back. So you're going to feel a stretch here in the front and you're going to feel the shoulder blades coming together behind your back. And now, embracing the heart, the standing posture for this season. We come around, so the hands are slightly cupped, thumbs are pointing up, fingers are away from each other slightly, wrists further away in the elbows. And the hands are pretty much in line with the top, just below the collarbones, around about that area. And we look off to the horizon. Inhale for a count of four as we drift forward onto the small triangle. Exhale for a count of four as we drift back to the large triangle. So inhaling. Exhale. Inhale, 
exhale. Inhale. Exhale. So our gaze is focused on the horizon. Inhaling. We drift onto the toes. Exhale. Drift back onto the heels. So three more breaths. Two more. Last breath. So inhale, weight in the toes. Exhale, weight in the heels. And let the arms come on down. So that was embracing the heart. So we're, like we're holding a giant beach ball against the upper part of the chest. And now we're going to move into our warm-up series today. And also our, our focus today is going to be on the early summer series. But first we want to get the blood moving, the chi flowing, and the muscles warmed up a little bit before we get into that. So we start with shaking the nine gates. Our hands are wet. Shake the water off the hands. Elbows, wrists, and shoulders going up and down. Inhaling for a count of four. Exhale for a count of four. Add in the hips, the knees, and the ankles as well. And try, if it works for you, tapping the heels as well. This is like pat your head and rub your belly. And now we turn and look over the shoulder, exhaling. Inhale. Exhale. We'll do three more cycles. Two more. Last cycle. Last side. And we're back to the front. Got a bit of tingling going on in the hands. Got the heart rate up. And next we have our swinging arm series. So for this guy, we start with dragon shakes whiskers. So let the hands tap the hips as we turn the head and look behind. And you're trying to look at the same spot behind you eventually. You know, three more like this. This is one, two, and three. And now it's cleaning the dragon's whiskers. It tap the shoulder, tap the kidney. Still twisting the spine, looking behind. Once more. And now, flinging sleeves. So you point behind. Hands down in front, up and back. Still turning the head, having a look behind. Two more cycles. One more. 
and we come on back to the front. So that was the swinging arm series. Now we're going to do a uh, side body stretch. We're going to be doing crescent moon here. So for this guy, we want to be in a wider stance here. So this is stacking in the bone stance. Bend this knee, keep this leg straight, had the feet a little further apart. So at the hip, the ribs, the hip, the knee, the ankle are all in a pile. So that's the stack of bones. And we want to have the feet far enough apart so this is as far as the hip can get. But we also want it to be able to do it over here as well. So this is a stack of bones on each side. And the reason for this is with crescent moon, you're going to take this hand and you're going to bring it across the body and let the hips move. This other hand is going to reach for the horizon. So there's a big stretch down this side of the body. And then we come up. Rotate the arms. Point the fingers towards the earth. Point the elbow towards the heavens. The bottom hand pushes across and we look to the horizon. Inhale. Exhale. Inhaling. Exhale. So you're looking at the fingertips into the horizon as the fingers point down to the earth and the elbow points up to the heavens. Inhaling. Exhale. We'll do two more cycles. And that starts here. So this side and this side makes a one cycle. Last cycle. Last side. And we come on down. And now we're going to bring the feet back to our normal narrow stance here, standing in Wuji with that double hand width between the feet. And so now we're going to start on our early summer series. But first, <laughs> oh, oh, what a quiny phrase. We pull down the heavens. So inhale, gather the chi from the earth, pull it up, and then turn the hands up, reach up to the earth to the heavens and then exhale draw the chi down we do this three times so two more inhale draw the chi up from the earth exhale draw the chi down from the heavens last one All right, so first in the early summer series is standing on a boat. Many variations to this, so we'll do one or two of them here. The basic one, we're in our narrow stance here. You put weight on the toes, you lift the ribs, so we're stretching the front of the body. Let the hands drift up. And then put weight in the heels, stretch the back of the body, let the hands come down. Inhale, with a dragon's back, we stretch the front. Exhale, with a turtle back, we stretch the back. So looking from the side, inhaling. Exhale. Inhale, we lift the ribs, lift the chin, look to the heavens. Exhale, drop the ribs. Drop the chin, look to the earth. So we'll do two more like this. Inhaling for a count of four through the nose. Exhale, count of four through the nose. Once more like this. And now we're going to do a variation on standing on a boat. 
Now this one, we bring the back of the hands together and then we come up like this. So the, the boat is rocking a bit more and so we're doing this sort of thing to try and keep our balance here. So we're here with the turtle back. Inhale, dragon's back. Shoulder blades come together. Inhaling. Exhale. And looking from the side. Inhale. Exhale. Hands turn, palms up, shoulder blades together. We'll do two more like this. So facing front again. This is an exhale. Inhale. Exhale. All right, and now, so that was standing on a boat, two variations. Next is Phoenix ascends the flame. So for this guy, you can reach down, like sink a little bit, or you can sink a lot. But the idea is you want to keep the shoulders well above the hips. So this is not a bend over posture. It's a bit of a lowering of the hips. So inhale, we gather the chi from the earth. And then exhale, we draw it in to the brass basin. So looking from the side, inhale. Exhale. So reaching down to the earth, drawing the chi up, we have a dragon's back here, weight in the toes. Exhale. Weight in the heels. Grabbing that giant beach ball, drawing it in to the lower abdomen. Inhale, we watch the hands come up. Exhale, watch the hands come down. So two more like this. last one. All right, so that was double hands hold up the heavens. Next is, no, no, sorry, that was Phoenix ascends the flame. Next is double hands hold up the heavens. So for this guy, we're still in our narrow stance. So small triangle, large triangle, dragon back, turtle back, all those fundamentals still in place here. But double hands hold up the heavens. We interlace the fingers as much as comfortable. You turn the hands, you push down to the earth on the exhale. Inhale, you draw it up to the heart. Exhale, we push to the horizon. Inhale, we come to the crown. Exhale, we push to the heavens. Take weight off the heels, lift them off the earth if you wish. Inhale here. Exhale, we slide down a wall as we push to the side. Inhale, we're at the center. Exhale, we push to the opposite side, stretching the side of the body. Then inhale, we push up and we turn and look behind, nice twist in the spine. Inhale. Exhale, we look over the opposite shoulder. And then inhale. Let the hands come on down. So that was one, one iteration. Ideally, if you have the time, we're looking to do nine iterations of each one. But with all we want to cover today, we, we don't normally get all nine done. So exhale, push down to the earth. Inhale. Exhale. Exhale. 
All right. So here we go. Exhale, push down to the earth. Inhale, come to the top of the chest. Exhale, push to the horizon. Inhale, come to the crown. Exhale, push to the heavens. Take weight off the heels if you wish. Exhale, we slide down. Keep the shoulders one above the other. Exhale. Now we twist and have a look behind. Exhale. We twist and look over the opposite shoulder. Exhale. Push to the earth. Exhale, push to the horizon. Exhale, push to the heavens. Exhale, we push to the horizon, to the fall. Exhale, we push towards the spring. And now we turn and have a look behind. And we finish up this iteration. Come on down. So we'll do two more of these, maybe three. We all know that I don't know how to count that well. So exhale, we push down to the earth. Exhale to the horizon, to the south. Exhale, push up to the heavens. Now. Push to the fall, to the west, to the side. Keep the shoulders one above the other. Push to the east, to the spring. Now we turn, have a look over the shoulder, look to the north. And look to the north on this side. And we'll do one more. Exhale for that count of four. We watch the hands the whole time. Even when the hands are out of sight, we keep our awareness on where the hands are. Inhale. Exhale. So exhale. One more cycle, so here we go. Exhale, push to the earth. Exhale, push to the horizon, to the south. Exhale, push to the heavens. Exhale, slide down a wall as we push towards the fall. And to the spring, we push up and we twist and we look to the north. To the winter. Uh, 
All right, so that was divide heaven and earth. The next is scholar opens the scroll. So for this, our feet are still in their narrow stance. So for scholar opens the scroll, we hold a ball in front of us, palms face each other, and we touch the wrist in passing. So the top hand touches the wrist as the hands pass each other. What's now the top, top hand goes down and pushes to the earth, draw the fingertips towards the shoulder, push the wrist away. The top hand comes up, palm faces the heavens, fingertips draw towards each other, so you're trying to get the fingers to touch, they never will. Push the wrists away, and we look to the horizon. Hands come down. Exhale, we push up, we push down. And then we do it again. And now we do a side body stretch here. So push down. So you want to stretch this side of the body as we look to the upper hand. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Now we add a twist. Exhale. We turn and look behind. And now we're back to the front. So when we do the first part, we're keeping the shoulders, the body, we're equal stretch, equal weight in both feet. Now, put all the weight in the down leg. Stretch the other side of the body as we look up. Touch the wrists. Side body stretch on this side. And now the twist. Bring the bottom hand behind the hip, turn the head, look behind, inhale, exhale, And now we're back to the front, keeping weight equal on both feet. Do the other side. And now the side body stretch variation. So you push down, draw the fingertips up, push up, draw the fingertips down, all the weight in the down leg, the hand that's down. Inhale. Exhale. Now the twist. And we'll do one more cycle. So we start here, equal weight on both feet, lengthening the arms. Touch the wrist in passing, other hand up. And now the side body stretch, touch the wrist, push down, push up, shift all the weight to the side that has the down hand. And again, on this side. And now we do the twist. All right, and that was Divide Heaven and Earth. So let's see, what do we got next here? Scholar opens the scroll, the other name for it. The next one up in the series is Flick a Ball. So for this guy, we're going to catch the fingernails with the thumb, and you're going to flick like so. So you end up here, and we do this. And so you're looking to flick any excess energy out of the body. And so we do it with both hands. So we start here, and you go, flick. But we also bounce on the heels at the same time. So there's two variations here. We're here like this. Depending on strength in the shoulders, you can stay here, and you go, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, if the shoulders get tired, 
And it's like, I can't hold them up here anymore. You can do this variation. Flick, 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 flick. And you can alternate them back and forth as well. Our goal today is to do 50 of these flicks. And we're tapping the heels each time, we hope. So we're here, and we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now do it from the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, twenty. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, thirty. That may have been fun, or not so much fun, but we also had this version here. So flick, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And as you can see, you can get much more done if you're just holding the hands here and flicking and flicking and flicking. So that was flick a ball. Next is Hawk lands on a rock. Two variations we're going to do here. So for this guy, we start with the back of the hands together like so, and then we come up. And so the back of the hands here, we have a, we have a big uh, turtle back. And then on the inhale, you turn so the palms are up. Bring the shoulder blades together. We have big dragons back. We look to the heavens. And this is inhale. And then exhale. So we do this part three times. Two, three. And then on the fourth, the palms are up. We come around. So we bring the hands up and we come down like this. And we go one, two, three. So the hands pulse. Looking from the side. The first part. One, two, three. Three, and then we go once, two, three. And so when we're here and we're doing this, it's we're looking to the horizon, which helps to keep our torso nice and strong. So hawk lands on a rock. So starting here, exhale, inhale, exhale. Now we swoop. One, two, three. Now we'll do a couple from the side. Now we swoop. So this is the hawk flying along. And now coming in for a landing. Back to the front. All right, so that's Hawk lands on a rock, the first variation. The second one is uh, from the Healing Sound series. And so this is Hawk lands on a rock, and it involves some balance <laughs> challenges because we're on one leg. So for this guy, we're going to lift up, and we're going to lightly touch the earth. So it's, and so put all the weight on this leg. Inhale. We draw the cheek up. And if you can manage when you draw the hands up, these are the wings of the hawk. We lift the knee and then exhale lightly 
touch the earth. So inhale, you shift the foot. Now this leg's going to come up. Inhale. <sighs> inhale. Touch the toe if you wish. Exhale. Ah. Inhale. Ah. So you step to the side a little bit. We shift the weight here. Inhale. Ah. Step to the side. Inhale. Whoops. Ah. 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 So one more cycle. We'll start with this side. Uh, and last side. Uh, all right, so that was Hawk Lands on a Rock, the two, ver the two variations here. Next one in the series is Virgin Boy Praise to Buddha. So for this guy, we start here. You bring the palms together about shoulder height. You draw them down. You bring the thumbs and the fingers together, so just so we're clear on what's going on here. So we do this. So all the fingers and the thumb get together and they make a little point. And it's known as an oxtail or a crane's beak, depending on how high they are up in the air. So we're here. Palms come together. Bring them down. Now, make that crane's beak, ox tail here, and point them towards your chin. Now, we lift the ribs, we lift the arms, they come up about shoulder height. Turn the head, look to one hand, and push the palm to the horizon. Turn, look to the other hand, push the palm to the horizon. Now, bring the back of the hands together. We have a turtle back here. We come down, we come up the center line of the body, the wrists, the elbows come together and the hands are apart and they're further away than the shoulders. And now, inhale, we come up here, shoulder blades come together, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, turtle back. Exhale, dragons back. Inhale, exhale. And let's have a look from the side. All right, so we just finished here. Crane's beak. Push, push, back of the hands together, down, up, elbows, wrists together, fingers away from the wrists, come up. All right, back to the front. speak we come here push to the horizon push to the horizon look to the front back of the hands together we come down up the center line and then we come here
Oops, sorry. No, that's right. Fingers and thumb together. Push to the horizon. Push to the horizon. Back of the hands together. Come up the center line. Got lost. Last cycle. All right, so that was Virgin Boy, praise to Buddha. Next is pull bow, shoot arrow. For this one, we need to be in horse riding stance, which means the feet need to be further apart. Currently, we're in our narrow stance here, where we spend most of the time with our qi, qigong practice. So the next step is to move out to the stacking of the bone stance. Hip over the ankle with this knee bent and this leg straight. So we had the feet further apart. Now to get to horse riding stance from here, turn the feet out about 45 degrees and bring the heel out behind the heels. Now you want the body to be comfortable with all of this Ideally, the feet are pointing straight ahead and we can lower down. So pretend you're touching a wall and slide down the wall. You want to keep the shoulders over the hips and bring the knees forward and lower down as you're comfortable. So for pull bow, shoot arrow. Inhale, bring the hands up. Exhale, bring the hands down as we lower down. Turn, face the side. And we push the bow away, pull the bowstring back, opening the chest. Exhale, we release. Inhale, we come up. Exhale, we slide down the wall. Turn, look to the horizon. Push the bow, pull the bowstring. Exhale, we release. Inhale, we rise up. Exhale, we slide down. Turn, push, pull. Release. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, we rise up. Exhale, we slide down that wall. Turn. Inhale, push the bow, pull the bowstring. Exhale, we release. So inhale, we rise up. Exhale, we slide down as we're comfortable. Inhale, open the chest. Exhale, release the bowstring. Last cycle. And that was Pobo Shoot Arrow. Now the next one is seven stars press the earth. We need to have the feet back in their normal narrow stance here. So seven stars press the earth. So for this guy, we're in our normal, our narrow stance here. 
you take this leg and you turn the heel away. No, sorry. You take, so you have the feet parallel. Turn the toes so the big toe points at the big toe of the other foot. And now what we're doing is we're now bringing this hip this way and we're holding a ball in front of the chest. Thumbs pointing up, fingers slightly prayed, hands cupped. And we're holding the chi ball in front of our heart. Now you let the hands come down, turn the feet parallel, shift the weight, turn the toes so you're pointing at the other foot, ground this heel, this knee bent, and the hips turn a little bit but mostly it's the torso and we're looking to the horizon, ground that heel, this one back here, inhale through the center of the palms. Exhale through the center of the soles of the feet. Inhale through the soles of the feet. Exhale through the center of the palms. Now let the arms relax. Turn the feet parallel. We're facing front. Shift the weight onto this foot. Turn the toes so they point. This knee bent, this leg straight. Ground this heel. Let the hips turn slightly, turn the torso, bring the hands up, and we look to the horizon. Inhale, center of the palms. Exhale, soles of the feet. Inhale, soles of the feet. Exhale, center of the palms. Let the arms relax, the feet parallel, shift the weight, pivot on the heel, so the toes point to the toes, turn the hips slightly, turn the torso a bit more, gaze to the horizon, bring the hands up, embracing the heart, thumbs point to the heavens, elbows, same height as the shoulders. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale, soles of the feet. Exhale, center the palms. And we'll do one more cycle. So the feet parallel, shift the weight, lift the toes, turn. So the toes point, big toe points to big toe. Ground that back heel, turn the torso, look to the horizon. Inhale, center of palm. Exhale, soles of the feet. Inhale, soles of the feet. Exhale, center of the palm. Back to the front, the feet parallel, shift the weight, pivot on the heel so the toes point to the toes, turn the hips ever so slightly, turn the torso, bring the hands up, ground the back heel, inhale through the center of the palm. Exhale, soles of the feet. And we come back to the front. So that was seven stars, press the earth. Next, we're going to do the crescent moon. And we're going to shift the weight from one leg to the other. So we're, we want to be in that stacking of the bone stance. So knee bent, hip over the ankle, and this leg straight. So this hand is going to push across, and this hand is going to go this way. And we did this way back at the beginning as part of our warm-up. So we're here, we're here, and we look to the horizon as we stretch this side of the body. Inhale, hands rotate, shift the weight. Exhale. Inhaling. Exhale. So two more like this. Mm -hmm. 
inhale, exhale. Last cycle. Last side. And we come back to the center. And so that was Crescent Moon from our Eight Vessels series. And that's also the last movement in the early summer series. So let's pull down the heavens. So inhale. Gather the chi from the earth. Reach up to the heavens. Draw the chi down from the heavens in to the brass basin. Two more. Last one. All right. And now we're going to do our wrap up for today which is our five direction meditation. And we need to be in our stacking of the bone stance because we have some side to side movement here and the feet further apart gives us more stability. So you want to have the hip over the ankle with the knee bent, this leg straight and feet more or less parallel. And as always, the knees are ever so slightly bent. So the five directions. Inhale, we advance. Exhale, we retreat. Inhale, we move to the left. Exhale, come down to the hip. Inhale, we look to the right. Exhale, down to the hip. And then inhale, we stay in the center. Exhale. Now just to review briefly, it's inhale for a count of four, exhale for a count of four in all cases, except at the end when we're doing the center. So it's inhale for a count of four, and then it's exhale for a count of eight. So four to about here, and four more, we get here. And also, we're shifting our weight from side to side, forward and back as well. So small triangle, large triangle, all that stuff. Keep your gaze focused on your hands. So let's start up. So inhale, we advance. Exhale, we retreat. Inhale, we look to the left. Inhale, we move to the right. And then inhale, we stay in the center. Inhale, early summer, straight ahead. Exhale, winter, behind. Inhale, spring, to the left. Inhale, fall, to the right. And late summer, here in the center. So the red phoenix in front, the dark blue turtle behind, the green dragon to the left, the silver gray tiger to the right, and the yellow golden center. And that's the class for today. So, thank you all for coming.